Hi! So today we are going to randomize some fields in a form. We have had a test case, so let's now take a look at it and then how we can randomize thing, how we can randomize some of the fields in the form and then create a random person. So let's see what we have here. So let's run our test, which is add person. I want to run it and show it to you what it is about real quick. Okay, now we're going to run login first and we're going to click on add person and we're going to random uh, we are going to enter some constant data in the form but what we want is we want to randomize test user so we're going to randomize test and user in the first and last name so i'm going to use faker.js for this faker.js lets you create some random test scenarios random test data which you can use it can be first name last name email address website product name company name ca company phrase can be anything so what we would like to do we would like to in a separate in a separate bash we want to copy this and paste it right here which is you know npm install faker.js basic stuff Okay, after installing Faker.js, what we would want to do, we want to import that. Here, I'll just import this guy. And after importing this, what we can do, we can actually use faker.fake. You can either also use some things here as well, name.firstname. So let's do that, faker.name.last. If I hit save, I go back to our test case. Okay, looks like there was a... Okay, looks like we have to... Do something here so these are generally methods I forgot about that let's rerun this test now as you can see we have randomized first name which is Amy and then last name Stuber and then we were able to randomize first name and last name so this is about it we have seen how we can reutilize faker.js in our test cases to randomize some data we can also extend this one put it in a command in Cypress where we can reuse some of the components to do some end-to-end -end testing. I'll show you in the next videos. So stay tuned. This is about it. Have a good one.